Hi, my name is Daisy and I'm recording this message as a member of the Youth Cabinet, who represent all young people across East Sussex. This section of the webinar is on equality and youth voice, so we'll look at what equality is and what it means to us as young people, some of the campaigns we're working on, and hear a little bit more about the equality work and projects that are going on in Rother, Eastbourne, Wealdon, Hastings and St Leonard's and Lewis. As young people, we are affected by the impact of ingrained inequality. Many young people in East Sussex have personally experienced some form of discrimination, whether it's about our gender, disability, mental health, sexual orientation, race, religion, or for our economic background. The more we learn and talk about it, the more understanding we gain of how damaging these experiences can be for us as a community and for our well-being as individuals. The past few years have seen a lot of interest in tackling these inequalities from young people. And part of the reason I put myself forward for election to the youth cabinet is because I feel that it is extremely important for people to feel safe in any environment, which is something that doesn't seem to happen at the moment. With the support of the East Sussex County Council Children's Services, other departments and organisations like Sussex Police and the NHS, the backing of the school I attend and with local support, I feel we are able to look closely at where we can highlight the importance of improving equality, diversity and inclusion, and all personally get involved to make a difference. The Equality Act was introduced in 2010 to protect people's rights and encourage equal opportunities for everyone. Under this Act, people are not allowed to discriminate, harass or victimise anyone because of their protected characteristics, including age, disability, gender, race, religion or sexual orientation. Because of the Equality Act, the public bodies we work with need to consider three things. One, how they might eliminate discrimination and harassment. Two, to advance equal opportunities for all. And three, to foster good relations. Through the Youth Cabinet, we participate in shaping a future in which young people from all backgrounds can thrive and flourish. Youth Cabinet gives us a platform to set our own priorities and become part of a community we can share our voice and have agency in the way our services are run and designed. I'm Elsa, a former Youth Cabinet member, and since then I've been continuing to be involved in Youth Voice in East Sussex through the Inspect and Advise group as part of East Sussex Community Voice, the Youth PPI Cafe and Young Health Watch. I'm also here to speak as a member of my community here in Rother. The Youth Cabinet believe that one of the most important things that should be done is to ask people questions about our identities. Many young people are now used to this already. The Youth Cabinet understand that unless you ask us, young people, whether we are disabled or of a particular gender or part of the LGBTQ plus community and of what ethnic background we identify as and more, unless you ask us those questions, how will you know if you are perhaps discriminating without even knowing you are doing this? How will you know if perhaps boys in a youth setting feel less able to express their feelings and might be excluded? How will you know if it is boys who might be afraid of speaking out about unhealthy relationships and want to ask for help if you don't analyse survey responses by comparing with different genders? How would you know if a young person of mixed racial heritage feels they are being judged because of stereotypes and what their needs are if you don't analyse survey responses by comparing the different ethnicities? If you don't ask those equality monitoring questions, how would you know? As young people, we are becoming more and more used to people with different pronouns. It seems that you adults are catching up with us but we still need to keep asking those questions. I want to share a few examples of local work that schools have been doing to address and improve equality. And in particular, I want to add here some examples from my secondary school. 
My secondary school classroom are running activities in tutor group time for Pride Month to raise, to raise awareness. The PSHE curriculum also covers topics on discrimination against the LGBTQ community. They have also become part of the initiative Mental Health for Schools, adopting a new mental health first aid teacher training and the Pupil Mind Fitness Programme that will also take part during PSHE lessons and tutor group time. All of these projects have the aim of encouraging openness to mental health and tackling discrimination against those with mental health problems.